praise the Lord. Let us stand to Psalm 59 for today's small devotion on the topic God my defense. King Saul has been seeking to kill David out of jealousy and had sent men to surround the house where David was staying. David did not do anything wrong to Saul. At this time, when surrounded by enemies, David is going to the presence of the Lord. That's what we read in this psalm. He is asking the Lord to take immediate action to deliver and defend him. He is calling out Jehovah for deliverance, trusting in his power and his relationship to Israel. He says, God is my defense. He believes that the Lord comes down in mercy for his defense. Also knowing the seriousness of sin, he believes that God shall bring the enemy down to their own destruction so that the world shall know Jehovah rules. The Lord God is our fortress and refuge in the day of distress, in the midst of fear. And David depends on the Lord based on his close relationship with God, thereby running to him freely with confidence as a child, a little child runs to his father for help, for defense and strength. The Lord is his strength. Dear sisters, do we as believers acknowledge this truth that our Lord Jesus Christ is our strength at all times? We sometimes may forget this when facing difficulties in life. We may try to solve or fix the problems on our own wisdom and strength only to realize soon that we were taking foolish decisions. We don't want to wait for our Lord to come down for us. He longs to help us in trouble. But we need to run to him as David did. As a little child crying out for protection and deliverance. David knows that God has a plan in allowing him to go through this trial in his life. So he's asking God to reveal his plan. How often do we stop? Our every human thoughts and actions in the midst of struggles and go to the presence of the Lord. Asking him to reveal his plan and purpose for us. In allowing certain trials in our mm -hmm. lives. And when God reveals his plan to us, do we truly surrender our life to him? To his will? Let's examine our life. In Hebrews Chapter 13, verses 7 through 11, we are advised to surrender to the discipline from our loving Heavenly Father. Hardships in life only makes us stronger in every area of our life. But this peace-giving positive effect of hardships happens only to those who surrendered to God's will in difficult times and wait patiently for him to fulfill his plan in our life. We read in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. When we fully surrender to our Lord's plan, and be obedient to him in all submission, then God's people shall be able to sing in the evening and rest peacefully, while the enemies will be awake all night and restless with their wicked plans. None of their plans will work, because our Lord Jesus is our defender and deliverer. He comes down at night in the darkest times of our lives and saves us from the enemies. In the morning we won't see any of our enemies, all will be gone back to hiding, never to come back again. God's people will wake up in the morning, singing and worshipping again the Lord Jesus for his mercy. Never failing mercy, the mercy that follows us wherever we are and in whatever circumstances we may be. We should always be singing praises of worship and thanksgiving to our Lord for who he is and what he has done for us in the past still doing at present in our daily life and for what he shall do in the future. He is our defense, beloved sisters, all my listeners. He comes down to meet us. He gives us songs in the darkest night. 
His mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord.